If you see this rock in nature, you may be standing above a hidden treasure. The ground beneath your feet has been shaping, compressing, and transforming minerals for millions of years. Most of the time it looks ordinary, just dirt, gravel, or stone. But sometimes the right kind of rock is a silent clue, a signal that valuable gemstones may be nearby. Today we're counting down the top 10 rocks that lead to gemstones. Each one tells its own geological story, and each one could hold the key to finding something extraordinary. Number 10. Marble marble begins as limestone, transformed under immense heat and pressure deep within the earth. The result is a smooth, often white rock streaked with veins of other minerals. Beyond its beauty as a building stone, marble occasionally hosts gemstones. Spinal crystals sometimes form in marble layers, appearing as vibrant red, pink, or blue crystals. In some regions, sapphires are also locked in marble deposits, hidden until erosion reveals them. If you ever notice pure white marble with unusual flecks of color, it may not just be a decorative rock. It could be a sign that gemstones are close at hand. Number 9. Quartz Vein Rock Quartz veins are some of the most important indicators in gemstone hunting. When hot fluids move through fractures in host rock, they leave behind long streaks of quartz. These veins can be white, clear, or slightly smoky, often cutting through darker rocks in sharp contrast. Over time, gemstones crystallize along these same fractures. Emerald, ruby, topaz, and sapphire have all been discovered within or near quartz veins. For explorers, finding a quartz vein means you are in a geological zone that once carried heat, pressure, and fluids, the very recipe required to form precious stones. Number 8. Gneiss Gneiss is a banded metamorphic rock recognizable by its alternating light and dark mineral layers. These stripes are the result of extreme heat and pressure, rearranging minerals into beautiful patterns. But gneiss isn't only attractive, it can also hide gemstones. Garnet and sapphire crystals have been discovered inside gneiss formations, sometimes visible as tiny sparkling grains. Prospectors know that when they see gneiss outcrops, especially those with reddish or glassy inclusions, it is worth looking closer. The striking bands in Gneiss are more than decoration. They can mark the birthplace of gems forged in Earth's restless crust. Number 7. Serpentine Serpentine rock is usually green, smooth, and sometimes vein-like marble. It forms when rocks from deep in the Earth's mantle are pushed upward and chemically altered. These conditions can create pockets where gemstones form. In parts of the world, serpentine is closely linked with jade deposits, and in others, with chrysoberyl and spinel. The green color of serpentine often hints at mineral richness. Prospectors who come across serpentine know they are standing in an environment where rare gemstones may have crystallized, waiting for erosion, time, or a sharp eye to reveal them. Number 6. Rhyolite Rhyolite is a volcanic rock, light in color, often with streaks of quartz or feldspar visible inside it. Formed from thick, slow-moving lava, rhyolite can contain gemstone cavities where gases were once trapped. Over time, these cavities become filled with crystals such as topaz and garnet. In some locations, rhyolite is associated with geodes, hollow stones lined with sparkling quartz or amethyst crystals. To the untrained eye, rhyolite may look like any other volcanic rock, but for those who know what to search for, it can be a gateway to hidden crystal treasures formed during Earth's fiery eruptions. Number 5. Schist Schist is a metamorphic rock that shimmers thanks to its high content of mica, which reflects light like tiny mirrors. These glittering layers make schist easy to identify in the field. But schist's importance goes beyond appearance. It often holds gemstones. Garnets are commonly found in schist, forming deep red crystals that stand out against the shiny layers. Kyanite and storolite also occur within schist, sometimes in spectacular crystal shapes. When explorers find schist with unusual nodules or flashes of color, they know they may be looking at more than just rock. They could be staring at gemstone potential. Number 4. Conglomerate conglomerate rocks are made up of many rounded pebbles cemented together by natural processes. 
They often form in ancient riverbeds where erosion has carried minerals downstream. Because rivers are nature's sorting machines, gemstones can accumulate in conglomerates alongside ordinary pebbles. Sapphires, zircon, garnet, and even tiny diamonds have been discovered in these deposits. A conglomerate rock may appear rough and unremarkable, but inside its cemented layers, history is preserved. Prospectors who split open conglomerates sometimes reveal stones that traveled from distant mountains before settling into place millions of years ago. Number 3. Sandstone with Quartz Nodules sandstone is a common rock, but when it contains quartz nodules, it becomes something more. These nodules can harden into agate, jasper, or chalcedony, colorful and durable gemstones valued since ancient times. The key is to spot sandstone layers that look different, with round, hardened bumps or unusual color bands. These are signs of silica-rich deposits that crystallized over time. What looks like an ordinary sandstone outcrop may, with closer inspection, reveal gemstone nodules hiding within. And if you're still watching now, here's the question. Have you ever picked up a plain-looking rock only to discover something unusual inside? Number 2. Andesite Andesite is a volcanic rock, medium gray or greenish in color often speckled with tiny crystals. It forms in volcanic arcs where lava cools quickly but still allows some minerals to crystallize. Among the gemstones linked to andesite are peridot and zircon. Though andesite itself might look plain, it indicates an environment of volcanic activity, exactly the kind of setting where gemstones can form. In regions shaped by active or ancient volcanoes, finding andesite is often the first clue that valuable mineral treasures could be hiding just beneath the surface. Number 1. Kimberlite At number 1 is the most famous indicator rock of all, kimberlite. This dark, sometimes bluish-gray volcanic rock has a crumbly, porous appearance and may contain tiny crystals of garnet or olivine. What makes kimberlite extraordinary is its direct connection to diamonds. Almost all natural diamonds are brought to the surface by explosive eruptions of kimberlite magma from deep within the Earth's mantle. Finding kimberlite means you are standing above the very type of rock that carries diamonds from hundreds of kilometers below. For prospectors, it is the ultimate signpost, the rock that has guided diamond hunters for generations. From marble to kimberlite, each of these rocks tells a geological story of heat, pressure, and time. Together, they form a natural treasure map, guiding those who know how to read the signs. Next time you walk through nature, Take a closer look at the rocks beneath your feet. What may seem ordinary could be hiding something extraordinary. And remember, this is only the beginning.